I'm dancing like, I'm dancing like. Uh, 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 uh. Hi cake friend and welcome to the Home Bakers Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment and subscribe and let's grow together. Super excited to come to you today talking to you about the three things that cake makers do wrong on social media. The first one is not posting a picture of your beautiful face so we need to know who is this cake person who's this cake lady this cake guy behind the beautiful cakes that are on the social media platform whether it's instagram whether it's facebook right people are actually on social media to socialize they're not there to view your cake pictures they're not there to unfortunately sorry to you know burst your bubble but that's not why they're there they're there to socialize so if you are a business and you are just going to be posting pictures of your business or whatever it is on your social media, that is the number one thing that you are getting wrong, okay? And, you know, social media is about you. It's about the person. And, I mean, big brands, big brands have gotten this right, okay? They are posting pictures of the executives, they are posting pictures of their personnel, of their clients. Why don't you do the same? Like, why don't you do the same? So that is the number one thing that cake makers get wrong. They just feel like, oh, I'm not important. Oh, I don't want to be on social media, but I'm only on social media because I am running a business. So, you know, I don't want my personal life to be out there. I'm not saying post pictures while you are on holiday with your kids. I'm just saying show them the lovely, the kind face behind those cakes. Because people want to buy from people. People don't want to buy from companies and logos. And that's not what they want to buy. They want to buy from genuine, genuine people just like you, okay? So, I mean, if you're not, I used to be like that. So I can totally relate. If you're not one of those people that like taking pictures, please do take pictures when you are looking at your best. At least have a couple of them. And I'm not saying flood your Instagram cake base account with your pictures, but show them once in a while this beautiful face behind those awesomely delicious cakes. Okay. That's the number one thing that cake makers get wrong. The second thing. You know, I don't want to be scrolling throughout your entire Instagram and your entire Facebook cake this page looking for your number. The second thing that cake makers get wrong on social media is not making their contact number visible enough. Whether it's you just telling them to send you a WhatsApp only, whether it's you just telling them to send you send them just emails, no phone calls, please tell your people, how can they get in touch with you? How can they reach you, right, if they want to order? Make it as simple as possible. Put a link in the description. Um, add a, what do you call it? Put a link in the description or add a button. You, Facebook pages give you a button, right? If you have more than 10,000 subscribers on Instagram, you can use the swipe up feature. But I mean, really for a cake business, a local cake business, more than 10,000 subscribers, unless you're living in a really big city or town, that another topic for another day. And I'm definitely going to have a talk about getting the right followers on your social media accounts. The third thing that cake makers get wrong on their social media is not being consistent enough. You are just not consistent. You are just not consistent. I know of cake makers that get their pictures all, you know, and I'm quickly going to get my phone. For this one, you need to see my phone, okay? Because there's something I want to share with you right now. So what I do is, not that I'm not consistent enough, but what I do is I have a gallery, like this is my gallery, and then I have one specific folder for my cakes. Maybe it's something you could do if you're not doing it already. So this, um, you know, this is for my cakes. This is where I put images of my cakes. So then I see some cake makers at the end of the year when they're on holiday on the beach, lying or some, you know, some bathing on the beach. 
oh, now I have time. So I'm just going to post all my pictures for the year, put it, upload this entire album on Facebook and just show people what I've been doing this entire year. And then the rest of the year, your Facebook page or your Instagram page is silent. Why don't you use special tools? And I, I mean, I have a social media course where I teach uh, you know, cake makers, how to be consistent without being on social media every day. If you want to know about that system that I use, just comment to this video, leave a comment or something. But get someone to help you. Like you could ask your daughter, your nephew, your cousin, just to help you, you know, just ask for them for their help. Send that album on a Google Drive link or something and, and tell them, hey, post this for me every couple of days over the next few weeks, you know, but be consistent. You know what happens to the algorithm when you are not consistent? When you decide to post that day, people, I mean, Facebook or Instagram will not show your post to your audience because you are not consistent enough. But if you're consistent, Facebook and Instagram is actually going to say, hey, you know what? Esther the Cake Queen just made a post. You want to see it? Here it is. But if you're going to be posting like, and I mean, to be consistent, you need to post at least three times a week. Okay, so I'm going to teach you in another video <laughs> how you can be consistent and have the Facebook and the Instagram algorithm work in your favor. That is it from me for today. Bye. Love you loads. Take care of yourself.